camera, you would perceive um, shifts of light, you would perceive something going from left to right, you would perceive um, color change, but you wouldn't interpret them. So you wouldn't say, I saw someone leaving the room. Because you, the leaving is you telling the story of the image of what happened, the shape, the change of light. So you refrain from using, and it's nearly impossible, but you try refraining from using verbs or descriptions that already assume even gender. Even gender. So shapes and forms and color and light and movement and increased space and decreased space and so on. That's the camera. It's just the hardest. First two minutes. And the second two minutes are, are trying to pull out intention, interpret symbols. So, ah, uh, I, I think the artists wanted us to engage like this because of this choice. Or, hmm, I think the, the symbology of the choice of darkness well, was... Not absurd. just that, you can also say, like, I think that that, that that was a little girl and she was lost and afraid in the forest. You don't have to do the, the artist methods, but you can interpret the image to... Yeah, to well, what, what's the symbol? What does it mean? Yeah, I mean what does it mean? Yeah. What do you think? But again, dissociated from you. I not what I think of it, but what I think it meant to be. And then the third one is entirely subjective and personal, mm. to a degree that you might say, by walking around the Silvius Trail, I started to think about my dad dying. It's absolutely nothing to do with the piece whatsoever, mm. but is a response that it triggered. Mm. So, and then the artist can decide if any of those are useful for that process at all. Mm -hmm. um, and in future you might want one band of feedback as opposed to three on art of you. But for today, okay. we run those three for each one, okay. so we get used to it. Okay. Alright, <coughs> so, as usual, um, we'll talk. Oh, everyone can send that to the system. And close proximity with men, and yeah, how comfortable you are with that. Yeah, I understood the toilet that we were in to be significantly a male environment. Mm -hmm. I thought there was this intention to encourage us to be playful in our uh, recounting of memories, or unusual memories, sort of kind of a, a little, try to get that playfulness from the audience. The toilet sort of felt like a safe space in order to tell our intimate kind of stories. Mm. The women were isolated from that. Right. Yeah. Going with that, the division between gender was underlined. Mm -hmm. There was a moment at the end with one of the figures dancing to music coming out of the phone which uh, seemed to want to add to this kind of uh, playfulness of the situation. Also, the female performer was pushing the idea of males, m male actions. So going over to the urinal and... <laughs> about to wee. <laughs> This, I will just say this is a disclaimer to protect the artists. It might mean someone might say, I absolutely hated it. I cannot stand being in the clothes. Well, it's nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. So don't worry if someone has a really strong negative reaction towards what you invite them into. It's just stuff. And it's not yours, it's theirs. Yeah? So the third one is super personal. And it's really not about your work, it's just what happened to them. Okay? To us. It made me think about how bizarre and arbitrary the idea of the men's space, the men's, the, the fact that the three of us are like, oh, we're in the men's, like even still, having said we had experience of being in the men's room, it's not like the first time we've been in the men's room, there's still this like weird girliness of like, we're in the men's room. Like, why? I don't understand. Really well, my neighbors is trans, and they, there's a big debate, argument at the moment between some feminists who think that 
um, some trans people shouldn't be allowed into females' bodies. And that the argument over who owns that space is something that I talk to them about, but I haven't grasped it, you know, because it doesn't, it's not something I'm invested with or have a problem with because I don't have to deal with it. Um, but all of that discussion suddenly became more real mm. for me going through that. I personally found it really great because I know that I can talk a lot and it was nice for a moment for me to listen, especially to male voices as well. I felt um, quite um, like the uh, immediate things like this, the smell, this thing, like uh, an uncomfortable and, and the initial thing, no? but then after a few moments, like we were talking about this playfulness and stuff, I felt like, ah, oh, quite comfortable in that space. And then I was like, hang on, fuck, we're in the fucking toilet. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like for that moment, it was just like, oh, this is cool and shit. And then when I came out, I was quite shocked to see you. <laughs> like, ah, this is like, yeah. So yeah. it went through like different stages. So it was a nice to be put in that repulsed place for like mm -hmm. a second with the pro um, yeah, provocation of the question and then feeling comfortable.